around here. Sometimes the fire department uses them. Sometimes the fire department uses these houses to practice. They set them on fire and then they do drills with them. You see these firemen over here, so we're just going over to ask them what they're doing to see what's going on. We usually go out to like a big parking lot and set this up, which is fine. But we had the idea. We had the idea uh, last month of why don't we use put them on the street where it's a lot more realistic. Okay. So they're going to be doing this. We call it the serpentine, and then they have to. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and then another thing uh, they do is you set up cones like. It's narrower at the end than it is at the front, so they got. So the whole idea is don't hit the cone. Yeah. Are you teaching them how to drive around Penn? Around what? Penn Avenue. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they'll go through. We talked to traffic engineering, and they said uh, as long as we have enough people here to just watch the intersections, we can use these two blocks and those two blocks. Cool. Do they have like cameras on the back? No. Uh, no. They're just using the mirrors. Thing, one of our rules is like if you get to a station or anytime you're backing up, you should have somebody outside the truck watching you and making sure that nothing, nothing when you're on a control course like this. Is, is, is there is there like a list or anything when you guys do the controlled burn oh, like of the, the houses? We haven't done any in a long time. Okay, it's really hard to get. Uh, the paperwork to do it because the DNR are well of course they're very concerned about assessments. Right. So um, and it just takes a lot of work. We have been when you asked about the uh, other training, the only other chance we may have to do have some training in this neighborhood, some of these houses I think are still gonna be torn down this year. And they've given the fire department the opportunity once they get the asbestos cleared out of them and any hazardous materials, that we can go and train on the house. We usually have about two weeks to get the electric crews, do ventilation holes in the roof and stuff inside, and then come to the and take them out. So we have been able to do that this year. Some of them in this neighborhood and then some of them in the south of the city. Like the uh, fire simulation? No fire, uh, just uh, getting up and working with tools and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. And navigating through. Yeah, yeah. If anything, what we what we can do is just put like a uh, half of a uh, barrel in there and put some hay in it and just smoke it up and stuff like that. Okay. But to burn it down, is, is, there's just so much involved. It's, Dispatch, engine number 9,000. We don't, we don't do as much as people. Okay. 
So anyway, so these guys are not rookies, but I asked them to come over here. We wanted to, I wanted to see how that was going to work. Yeah, so hey, it looks yeah. like you were really handling the business. Yeah. Over there. What are you doing? Is that you driving? We that try not to. Yeah, 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 he drove yeah. some. Well, he drove first, first, and that was Steve. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like it was pretty hard. Like anything, takes practice. Yeah. yeah. Training. Got to use the mirror. Got to keep on.